going on guys are for gaming here and uh today we're going to do a um 2017 uh Lego Ninjago review and this is about is this is the uh, piranha attack and um it's um set 70629 age of 7 to 14 and has 217 pieces and you might notice that i'm missing one figure and it's lloyd's uh mom the thing is is that um i i'm uh doing this review about a week after i got it and i already lost her but her name is of i don't know her name but she show she does have her armor i'm gonna show you real fast so this is her, she comes with the armor, and she also comes with uh, some printing, the uh, headpiece that goes onto her hair, she got some, um, she got some bow and arrows, she has her own bow and arrow, and um, she has some skirt thing going on there. But yeah, that is Lloyd's mom. So yeah, so let's get back into review. So, so yeah, so uh, we are going to get right into the characters. So this is the first figure, uh, Kai. He has, of course, the spiky hair. Um, and as we can see, he's got some uh, torso printing. And then he's got the uh, shoulder pad thing going on there. And he has, um, he has some um, other printing. So let's see that. So as you can see, he's got the um, Lego Ninjago symbol um, on his back right there. So um, yeah, and uh, by the way, um, this character does have a, a double-sided face, so I'm going to show you that right now. So his first face is kind of like a smirk, like he's kind of like nervous, but he's kind of happy at the same time. So um, here, this is his other face. And now he's got a, kind of like an angry kind of expression. And then right here, he's got like a little like a little eye patch. And if you saw in the on the other face, there was that same patch. So maybe he got like injured during battle or something. So yeah, so that is Kai, and we'll move on to the next figure. So this next figure is called Ray, and he. Uh, I took the uh, hat off um, so that we could see his um, face better because if I have the hat on, we can barely even see his face. So that's why I took it off. So he has a kind of like a shocked expression on his face. So, um, and he's also got some torso printing. So let's zoom in on that. So he's got some like torso printing, his like jacket's kind of like folded down kind of, he's got some like button stuff, and he, uh, and if you can see, he's also got some uh, leg printing and stuff like that, got some shoes on, stuff like that, so uh, let's go back to the, let's go to the back printing. And there's the back printing, not really too detailed, got some little wrinkles at the back, you know, got some wrinkles as like normal clothes do. So, um, and by the way, this figure, as you can see by the, uh, head, does not have a double-sided face. Um, so, yeah, he does not have a double-sided face, as you can see. Which is kind of sad, um, I wish he had, like, kind of, like, an angry expression, or, like, just, like, a normal expression. But, um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, and then, of course, his hat has this cool design on it just a normal hat so um yeah so we will zoom out here real fast so we will head on to our last figure so this is our last figure and he's just named shark army thug and he's basically just the dude that like follows garmadon and all of his stupid rules and stuff so um yeah so, I would say out of all the figures that we have in this set, this one has probably the most detailed printing out of all the figures. I don't know why, it's just he has the most detailed. We're going to take his hat off so that we can see his um, facial expression better. There we go, he's got like a little eye patch going on, he's got like an angry face. 
and let's see if he has a double-sided face, and he does not, which is kind of sad. So, Kai and um, uh, Lloyd's mom, those are the only two figures who have a double-sided face. Um, so, yeah, so let's go into the uh, printing. So here we got some uh, torso printing, got some like straps going on there, like a little belt to go around his waist. Got a little like zipper kind of thing, I guess. I don't know what that is, a zipper, I guess. And then if you look at his leg printing, he's got some like knee pads going on, some shin pads or something like that. So um, yeah, so let's get into the back printing. And there's the back printing, he's got the straps from front to his back, he got that waist thing again got a little thing to join the things together so yeah some pretty good back printing definitely the most detailed out of any of the figures that we have in this set so um yeah and then of course this hat is we basically have the same hat that you get with like those um, Lego City robber kinda guys just painted different color orange of course so yeah so that was the shark thug guy and we will get and we'll now get on to the vehicle that this guy drives. So this is the um, main piranha, and this is what the um, the uh, bad thug guy drives. So here's the other side of it. So um, yeah, and then it got like it's got like these like um, oxygen rocket things going on. So yeah, and then oh my gosh, this thing is so tall. I can barely fit it in my studio, but, um, Jesus Christ, oh my gosh, um, up here, it, I'm gonna have to hold up my phone, but, um, up here is, like, a little thing, so, like, so, like, if they're, like, um, if this thing is above water, it's, like, kind of, like, a little, like, thing so that they can, like, see, um, what's above the water, since they're gonna be underwater, so, yeah, it's just one of those things. Yeah, this thing is so tall. And then if we get to the front of it, you can see that there's actually teeth. And the cool feature, this main, the main feature of this is to be able to actually lift this thing up. Yeah, so you can lift this thing up. And, yeah. So, um... And uh, one of the things that I did was I actually borrowed another um, uh, one of the guys from the um, another set because like if because if you see in here there's already a guy in there and he looks exactly like this. The reason why I did that so was that so that I wouldn't have to actually physically put him in there uh, during the video. So uh, that's what he looks like inside of the vehicle. And um, that's why they call it a piranha, because it's basically a shark, but it's also a machine at the same time. And then at the sides, if you can see, there's, um, oh, I almost forgot. We got to get into the um, console, so let, let's get into that. So there's the console printing, got some, like, stuff for, like, the underwater, got, like, a map of, like, the ocean, and just got some, like, temperature things, just basic stuff for, like, underwater stuff. So yeah, those were the controls, and um, if you're wondering, how the heck does this thing go on land? Well, at the bottom here, if you can see, I'm going to pull it away a little bit, full focus. And the cool thing about this is you can actually make this thing walk. It's a little bit difficult, but um, it's kind of a walking mechanism, but it's also kind of like something where you can just like slide up on shore or something. I think their feet, I'm not completely sure. And then another thing that's cool about this is there's actually flick fire missiles. So these things right here, they're actually flick fire missiles. Um, I'm not going to flick them right now because they're kind of hard to get to right now. But um, yeah, so that was a um, in-depth review on the actual piranha. And we'll get into the last part of the set. So this is a little thing that this guy actually handles, and I'm going to show you real quick what it looks like with him on it. So that's what it looks like connected to it. It's got these giant, giant wheels, of course. Um, got 
it's got like little lanterns here. Uh, let's turn it to the back. Uh, we have a little. Um, trying to find a good light to do this. Uh, there we go. Got a little like symbol there. Um, not really anything too special. Um, I definitely wish that they could have done a little bit more with it, but, um, yeah, so, um, uh, that was, uh, this little part definitely could have done more with it, but, um, yeah, so, uh, let's do the, uh, end of this video. So, yeah, that was the, uh, review of the, uh, Piranha Shark Attack, I think that's what it's called. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, review, and if you would like to see more of these kind of, you know, like, um, Lego reviews, leave a comment down below. So, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!